Love Lauren is generously supported by Mopart's Oz. Find them online at mopartsoz.com.au. Hey guys, it's Michael here from Love Lauren. On today's episode, we're going to be rebuilding this Scott Bonner 45 cylinder mower. Thanks as always for joining us here on the channel. Today we're going to be looking at this Scott Bonner 45 solid deck cylinder mower. Let's take a closer look and see what it's all about before we tear it down. Looks like we've got a nice sturdy solid deck. I don't see any cracks as far as I can tell, but you never know. We're going to want to get all that paint off and take a closer look before we know for sure. It's a solid deck machine rather than a twin rail, so that means we're looking at sort of late 60s, early 70s era for this particular machine. It's got a nice little uh, Kirby engine. I think uh, we could look at rebuilding that if we wanted to, but I think we'll probably take this one off get a nice new one that runs vibration free from small engine warehouse or our local mower shop. We'll probably go with a 5 8 inch shaft, maybe the 3 quarter if we're feeling fancy. It's got the split front rollers which is a nice little feature on this machine. Around the back we've got the split rear roller as well which just really helps for the maneuverability. Looking at the top here we've got the pram style handlebars. I think what we'll do with these is get them in the vinegar bath. I think this chrome is going to really polish up nicely. I don't know what the previous owners done to this thing. It's some sort of powder bullying. It's not really in keeping with the theme but you know now it's your mower, you can do whatever you want. I think for me, we're going to take this blue off, we'll go back to the hammered green, the olive green from Protac or something similar, who knows. In terms of the rest of the machine, the clutch is looking alright. I think we could probably look at replacing that, maybe a centrifugal clutch from SP Fab and Parts. They look pretty swish, don't they? You know, the chains, sprockets, you know, they do, they do wear, so things to think about as we go. Now, like I said, this is a solid deck machine. They are prone to cracking, just as the twin rails are. And we could look at reinforcing this if we wanted to. But you know what? I think Shane's got a brand new solid deck top for us and sides. So we're going to take this off, give it away to Bob next door. And then I think we'll have a nice new MoTeC machining and cylinder mowers deck to replace this one. And it will last another 100 years. So we'll look at replacing these front rollers with a, with a new stainless steel roller from Scott Bonner Fabrication and Parts here, which makes some nice ones. And, you know, we just want to get rid of any play at the front end here just to make sure that we've got a really good quality of cut. In terms of this reel, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look great. It's, uh, it's, it's not too bad. There's a bit of meat on it still, but I think, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I had thought about converting this one into a Verdi or a Groomer, but might put an eight blade reel on it though for this one, just for a bit of fun. Now, speaking of fun, have you seen those new knobs from Unreal Knobs? They look pretty cool. Scotty Knobs did them originally. I don't know if they're still doing them, but uh, you know, Unreal Knobs are all over at the moment and they look pretty swish. So, you know, maybe we'll get one of those and stick it on here somewhere. And this is the old catcher that came with the machine. It's, uh, yeah, it's seen better days. So I've spoken to Jason over at Old Time Parts. He's got a new catcher on the way for me, so thanks, Jason, for that one. It's period correct, so it's gonna fit this machine like a glove. Yeah, let's get this torn down anyway and see what we end up with. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, just a bit of April Fool's fun for you guys. Thanks for sitting through that one. If you like today's content, hit the like button. Don't forget you can subscribe down below as well for more mower and lawn content, of course. Find us on Facebook and Instagram for any out-of-band content. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you around. Don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions or comments. And, um, yeah, we'll see you on the next vid. Thanks, guys. Happy April.